Have you ever kissed someone and have them not kiss you back? Craig Moore here with beyondgoodenough.com. Another tip to help you go beyond good enough in your business and your life. I get to the kiss in a moment. What I'm talking about here though is not thinking of only yourself. If you want to go beyond good enough with every aspect of your life or your business, you need to put other people first because think about it. Nobody really cares about you. I'm sorry, it's a cold hard truth. People are concerned about themselves. Now, of course, people do care about you. That's not what I'm talking about. But when you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, whether it's a selling situation or just meeting somebody, their biggest concern is themselves. That's their favorite topic. People want to be asked about themselves. What can I do to help you? What are your interests? What can I do for you? How can I make your life better? Can I sell you this product? Can, can this product be useful to you? Can you get some use out of this product? See, most people when they are selling, they're selling features, benefits. Look, this is, this is what it does. It's wonderful, it's great, it's fantastic. Well, nobody cares. They only care what is in it for them. There's an old acronym, W-W-I-F-N-M-O-U-S-E-A-S-A. I forget the acronym, it, what's in it for me? W-I-F-M, what's in it for me? Now let me get back to that kissing thing I was talking about. This happened many years ago, I was about 19 years old, and it was probably the second or third real date I'd ever been on. Yes, I was a late bloomer, okay? Get over it. I was a shy kid, but I finally got out. So I asked this girl out, we went out, we went out to the movies, we went back to her house, her parents' house, of course, and we're sitting there and we got to talking, and we're talking, and we're talking, and we're talking, and we're talking, and we kept on talking and talking. We talked till four o'clock in the morning, and I thought, wow, this date is going great. We've got so much in common, we've got this communication going, fantastic. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't wanna want push it, so I get up, to, I better go, it's four o'clock in the morning, I, I better go. So I went to kiss her goodnight. Mm. And it was like kissing, glass. There was nothing there. There was no reaction. There was, she, she didn't even like quiver a lip, not, not even an effort. Not, I mean, just like, I ain't kissing you. And it just devastated me. I mean, it was like, and I got in the car and I'm driving home. I'm like, what happened? I don't understand. I thought the evening went great. Well, it did for me, because all I did was talk about me. I kept telling her, oh, I've done this and I've done that, and I, oh, this and this and this, and all about me, all about me, nothing about her. I had no concern with her. I, well, of course I did. I wanted to impress this girl by talking about myself and showing her how great I was. What I did was alienate her. She didn't care that much about me. Obviously, because she didn't kiss me at all, you know what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with people, whether it's a business situation or a personal situation, think about it. What's in it for them? Ask them questions. How are you doing? How is your business? Will this solve your problem? Think about the other person's concerns and go beyond good enough. If you're watching this video anywhere about my blog, well go. Go to the blog right now, it's beyondgoodenough.com. And do me a favor, share this video with your friends, post it on your social media sites, well, click the like button, send a letter with a link to it. I don't know, can you do that? Well, I think it's called email. Yeah, email. Share this with all, all your friends and I'll talk to you next time.